hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> uh guys actually i want to take this opportunity and thank um each and every one of you who are watching my videos and who are subscribed to this channel uh, i'd like to thank you thank you so much for the support and i see those comments those interactions i see them and i do interact back so if you haven't interacted with me please do because i'll definitely reply to whatever to your comments at that it's like while i'm still thanking you guys i'd like to take this opportunity and thank my friends that planned my baby shower or oh, andy sonotando oh my goodness guys i appreciate you a lot i love you guys so much you did an amazing job you did an amazing work with my baby shower i loved everything about it it was just so perfect thank you thank you so much ladies i was just uh watching my video um lay life updates just watching everything yo and i was like oh my gosh i had such a beautiful baby shower and also to everyone that was there man thank you so much for taking your time and re and honoring my invites i appreciate you guys the gifts oh my gosh the love oh my gosh it was so amazing so yeah on today's video <laughs> i am doing my cape town trip review so guys i promise to give you guys a cape town trip review uh, cape town trip review sorry and i'm doing this because um there's so many things that i would like to share to people with people also that i wouldn't want them to do when they go to cape town also i'm doing i'm doing this trip because some people um requested it very late video uh for me to share with with them because they thought it was just i had just the, the most perfect trip so yeah i'm just gonna share a few things based on what i know or based on my trip or based on what um, I thought would work for me which might work for a lot of people also because I'm not a very picky person also in terms of what I do so um, I, I, jot, I jotted down some 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 pointers here that I will speak about so I'll start with booking your flights and accommodation I'd advise you to book your flights and accommodations three months prior your trip so that the other three months you will save up for the trip for the money that you're going to spend you know I think the flights are more affordable on Thursday if you're gonna leave on a Thursday and if you're gonna come back on a Monday they're more affordable they're not so bad and also that will give you an opportunity to experience Cape Town like the other two days for traveling and the other three days it's for experiencing it's for enjoyment so I think it works better you know yeah so I'd advise you to um, be there from Thursday until Monday but it's up to you really it's up to you you can decide but also the flights are cheaper when you leave on a Thursday and come back on a Monday uh, if it's your first time I'd advise you to also book an accommodation in Central Town so that you can be closer to a lot of things so that you can be in the center like in the middle of Kems Bay, Bangalow, Clifton, Constantia, your French Rook, Hugo de Gota, and my wine farms, but it's not too far if you are in town so that you can be closer to your Long Street, your VA waterfront, your or your the Silo Hotel if you want to do dinners there, you know, closer to the VA uh, shopping mall if you want to do some shopping. I think it's very convenient to book Central Town. Uh, yeah, that's my advice. And another point is. Go with a friend or a partner or someone that you really really connect with even even if it's a sibling someone that you really connect with there mustn't be a lot of people because if you plan with a lot of people it, it's not going to be a success i promise you it's not going to be a success because it, it, it takes not a lot of money but it is a lot of money it depends what you really to to us it was a lot of money i don't want to lie so it's a lot of money to 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 get into waste also so yeah and another thing is have an itinerary when you're going to cape town uh, on things that you'd like to do do your research i mean what i did is i watched a lot of vlogs on youtube and saw people what they were doing and i handpicked things that i'd like to do when i get there you know that's what i did um do your research watch a lot of videos on youtube um see what people are doing and then plan your itinerary according to that uh because also cape town is very boring guys cape town is a very quiet city Cape Town is a very calm, still. It Cape Town. I can South Africa to be quite honest with you guys because I can dance Cape Town. Okay, now we're gonna get into packing since we are done about having an itinerary. But like, yeah, guys, like you need an itinerary in Cape Town or else you're gonna be bored. You're gonna go around Unga's Wednesday or go back to the same place again. I'm saying this because I've been to Cape Town, I think, three times, and I think the last time I went. I literally came back the next day in the morning because I was just so bored. I was so bored. I remember I went to that Cubana and I said, Green Point, I'm bored. 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 I'm
so when this opportunity came for me to go to cape town i was like you know what let me plan it properly because i don't want to find myself bored like the last time saying it to us in shengbu and i'm saying so yeah now we are getting into packing first of all don't pack high heels substitute those high heels in your kitten heel please because the cape town is chillier guys it came to the bubble pack the gogo pack about the cape town like literally flip-flops slides pack your slides pack your flip-flops pack your pack your sandals just be comfortable allow my take get those sneakers maybe that one pair of sneakers but heels don't bother yourself just pack a, a kitten heel unless you're gonna go out for a dinner but not gonna fit again the high heel a kitten heel right or something if you can't really walk on a kitten hill because so yeah and when you're packing if you are going in summer like how i went to cape town in summer pack three outfits for the day those outfits will depend on what you're going to be doing because cape town cape town days are very long cape town has more than 24 hours in a day i think it's like 36 hours a cape town will five feel like a social pool meal you're or eight so we set up by eight, by nine, then it then it starts to like uguba miyama, but more ten uguba dark. But Cape Town J has long, 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 long days or hours or whatever that you can think of. So make sure that you pack three outfits per day according to what you're going to do on that. Another thing is um, traveling to the airport. Traveling to the airport, it's up to you really. Um, you can take a taxi. If you're from Richards Bay, you can take a taxi. I can't take a taxi. I've been an airport in Richards Bay. Like a taxi from, from Richards Bay to Durban can drop you off at the airport. Or if you're driving, drive your car, park it at the, at the, at the airport, and then you can pay gear when, when you come back. You do whatever you want. Uh, so I'm going to tell you about my trip. Okay. Based on day one, now I got to Cape Town. Okay, we left the car, we left the car at the airport. And then when we got to Cape Town, we got to Cape Town around 7. It was still bright. Imolese Cape Town, by the way, guys, Valong on 9. So what we did, we went to um, the mall, the, the VNA waterfront, the mall. At the mall, went to Woolies to pick up a few stuff that we're gonna need, like cereal, breakfast. Because I believe that me I get also work cereal for breakfast. We subs cut so good dollar up. We subs cut so good lungis. We only like jello breakfast food. Okay, there's so many places you can have your breakfast, but really, really, do you really wanna wake up in the morning and go have breakfast? So we bought some like eggs, bacon. Luckily, our Airbnb had pans and everything else, salt, pepper, thank you so. Also, this information that I'm about to share now, you won't relate to it if you haven't watched my previous video. So, yeah, if you see on that apartment tour, I bought my food, salt and pepper, my plate, my mess and everything else. So, we went to buy breakfast stuff for us to have breakfast and clean. So that we can just... After breakfast, then we can just get ready. Spoon and lint be around 11 or around 12. So, and then, yeah, we did that. And then uh, we got something to eat, like a quick takeaway. We had it indoors because we wanted to rest a bit. And also the next day, day two, we didn't want to rush, you know. We just relaxed. I'm sure you guys saw that I even worked out, you know. And then we dived into the pool. And then we got ready, we went to have lunch. The mistake that we did, okay, no, we had lunch. And then we met up with a friend, we had dinner, and then we went out. We went out to IAP, it was so much fun, so, so much fun. One thing that you mustn't do, guys, don't drink too much when you're on holiday. Just don't drink too much, unless really you plan to drink that one. Don't drink too much because it ruins your plans for the next day. Now you have to mess it back for Lazi. We went to IAP, finished the IAP, we went to Coco. Because he gave us a good set, you know. I don't understand why we did that. Because the next day I struggled waking up, but because I had we had made a booking to con in 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 Constantia, a chef's warehouse, we had to go, and I wanted the experience of the food. I forced myself. So please don't do that to yourself, guys. Don't do that to yourself. And also, I was wearing a high, high heel, La Pane Constantia, which was a no. I was supposed to wear a kitten heel if I wanted to look decent, but also I must lie in a corner, they were going to work. Or even like a flowy summer dress with uh, sneakers, that was going to work if that's your style, but that's not my style. That was going to work also because the vibes are very chill there. So just relax, you know. So don't pack high, high heels in Cape Town, guys. I said, been still to Cape Town. 
I say Benz and less humans or humble shall lick in Spain and lavatos of Shilna Bona, Mogos Minda, or unless you go in there for a business meeting, you know. So, yeah, and then we going out on day two. Okay, going out was okay. Like, we are to the second location was a bad idea because that nearly ruined day three weight. But yeah, so don't do, don't do a lot of that, please. And then uh, day four, what did we do? We went to Cabo Beach. Cabo Beach was such a vibe. I think we had like two bottles of champagne and then, yeah, we came back. We chilled. Okay, we came back and then we went to IBF again. But we just sat down, sat down, sat down. I think Cabo one, two, Sabuya Salal. And we didn't drink a lot. We didn't make the same mistake as as the one that we did yesterday so yeah we learned our lesson basically so we are salala and then um day four woke up um had breakfast again and then we went to um the bangalore Cl clifton yeah it was such a nice vibe the music was amazing there the ambiance and Jay, the view of a clifton was just breathtaking um yeah we couldn't we wanted to go to um the cape point actually on day two but we couldn't because we we, we 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 were just i think we're just relaxing more than anything else and also we were very open to do isn't day ning like if must want to local because we didn't hire a car also we we're using uber we we're using uber and uber is very affordable in cape town there's uber go i'm sure when you look at the internet espresso cape town that's uber go and we are go vna it's like from where we were sleeping, it was like 35, 40 rands. We are Constantia, it was 130. We are Bangalore, it was 90 rands, I think. But yeah, it was just, it was not so bad, guys. So we're early morning, just like 800 rand a day. So keep it deposit. Shabby, you won't even need to, you won't even spend 800 rands on traveling, Shabby. Yeah, well, and also driving while you're gonna sip on some drinks is not a good idea and a lot of people in Cape Town are not driving to be honest with you they're not driving they use uber like people in Cape Town are like, guys they are so chilled they are so chilled they are super chilled so yeah and then we went to the Bangalore Clifton we came back we went to the boat cruise uh, sunset boat cruise champagne sunset boat cruise because there was uh, champagne glass like two glasses for free champagne glasses there so it was so much fun i enjoyed that and then we came back we also grabbed a uh, takeaway we ate in Lini salala and then we woke up in the morning had the breakfast that we bought the stuff from the stuff that we bought we finished them up and then we made breakfast and then we headed to the airport so yeah there was it guys so i don't think it was so you just need to plan right you know plan right but make sure that you book your flights and your accommodation prior like three months before and then start for the next three months to save up for whatever amount that you're gonna spend in cape town it'll depend on what you are eating and what you are doing but like roughly two five a day depends on the activities that you are doing also because i think so you know i find myself doing a lot of things so yeah it's up to you really but also i was in cape town so i doubt you'd You'd, you'd want to uh, pack in Bashendi, you know, Mezoto for a day, yeah, but like days are really long in Cape Town, as I said. So, yeah, guys, I really hope this video was um, very uh, insightful. Like, it's on Caesar Nani when planning your trips to Cape Town, and I really hope you loved it and you enjoyed it, and especially my vlog. But I see that you loved it because I saw the comments, I saw the love. Thank you so much. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and click that notification button. I will see you on another video. Thank you. God bless.